Owechitiwa Joyce Lovi Sampanga, kuna yali mchisa mluchiko la Buganda, ya fangi na kuzo mwezi kumina munaano mwezi kuno. Incha yali reali tudua mpala minti ya babako kumusima na ukumukuba keri sevanyuma. <tune> wa kasera ko kuganzike bimuri kusanduke yo mugenzi ekitese cyo kusimwa ukiti wa Joyce Lovin sampanga kiretedwa myo ka saba minister wo kusatu hajja tlokia na kadama bwa yogedde ku mugenzi ngaba demu na byanjikiriza yogera amazima nti era somesezza na abalalanga yaweleze gwanga lyo butebalira aboya the honorable Joyce Simpanga was a celebrated educationist women rights activist and veteran politician who served in various key positions in the political and public service of Uganda. Ekiteso kino kisembedwa kuri rolo ruvuganya mu parliament honorable Mathias Mpuga. Nana yato to de mirimu enkumulito ekikoledo ekitibwa mpanga bwe yali akyali mulamu omulino okulwanira eddembe lya bachala. She has been known as a woman of many firsts and her accomplishments were enumerated have inspired many in the academic world and governance. She has been a known champion of women's rights, one of the first women to be nominated to the Uganda National Assembly, Legiko as known then. First African woman lecturer in the Faculty of Education at Makea University, first female graduate with a master's degree, first minister of women affairs in Uganda, first female minister for primary education in Uganda, and the Gaza High School's first African deputy headmistress. Right on speaker and colleagues, Honorable Mpanga's contribution to Uganda's education sector and development cannot be discounted. Ababakaba Parliament, Ngabakula Kono Mugenzi Mu Parliament, Nabobaliko Beba Mwogi Deko. Because Joy's role in the liberation struggle in the early days when women's role was purely in the kitchen and giving birth, that was the time Joy stood up. The late Mpanga was a person who was really a person of integrity who would not engage in corrupt practices. As a minister, she advocated a lot for the girl child. It was during that time, guided by the president, General Yoweri Museven, where the girl child was even given an additional, additional points to join the university. We have lost, lost a great lady, a great mentor, a great educationist, a widow who stood on her own and did not leave shame. She has died at a time we needed her most. Mubaka Waluvaga North Kawaya Abu Beka, Mugenzi Java Dawangarida. As a government to come up with a Kungudo, or even to be a colleague of Gwanga. As a member of parliament who was serving her, at the same time as the shadow minister for Kampala, I kindly request this August House that we instruct KCCA where she has been residing to gazette one of the roads in Kampala in respect to her service that he rendered to this country. Uh, thanking her because she went to school. She was an educationist, but she also had the excellency. That's why when you're talking about her children, you are all very happy. These shortcuts uh, are the ones that are killing the country. I'm your speaker of parliament, Thomas Taibwa. I have been checking through the Hansard and I saw two major aspects that can define her. One, she was always fighting for the marginalized. And number two, she was always very passionate fighting against corruption. 